So in today's class of mathematics, let us find the square of the number without actual multiplication. So without actual multiplication, we are have to we have to find the square root of this number forty two. Okay, so let us see how to do it. Okay, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to find the square root of this number forty two square, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write forty plus two split it, okay. To the nearest ten. So now what I'll have to do is, and then square this term. Okay. What I have done over here, I've splitted this. Forty plus two will give you forty two, and you square. So now you will apply that formula. Okay. Or else, what you can do is, you can separate these two terms. Like, for example, you can uh, write it as forty. Into forty plus two plus two into forty plus two. So here, yeah, what I have done is first thing I have taken this forty outside. I have to multiply forty plus two over here plus. I what I have to do is two into forty plus two. Okay, now let us see uh, what to do. Now forty into forty will be here. You are going to get forty square plus two multiplied by forty plus again two multiplied by forty plus two square. So here what you have done is forty into forty square plus two into forty. Plus two into forty, plus two square. So forty square is nothing but four. Forty square is one sixteen thousand. Sorry, sixteen hundred. One thousand and six hundred. One thousand and six hundred plus two forty is a eighty plus eighty plus four. Okay. Next thing, what you'll have to do is one thousand six hundred plus eighty plus eighty will give you what? You'll have to add all these numbers and see what. So one thousand and uh six hundred it is right. So one thousand and six hundred plus eighty plus eighty plus four. Let us see what you are getting. You are getting four, right? Plus eighty and four it was. You'll have to add this number. You will get four. Eight plus eight will give you sixteen. So here it will be seven and one. So one seven six four is the answer. So I hope you'll have. I hope you'll have understood how to find the square of the following number without actually multiplication. Okay, without actual multiplication. So this is the how you'll have to do. Then then there is one more method you can use. That is a plus b the whole square formula. So I hope you have understood and thanks for watching.